A youngster by the name of Elizabeth Ann is capturing a lot of attention. She is a cloned ferret. It's the first time scientists have successfully cloned an endangered U.S. animal. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas on that story in Lamar County, where Elizabeth Ann is currently residing. Dylan, researchers say this is a big step towards reintroducing black-footed ferrets to the wild. Yeah, Jim, researchers say that humans have indirectly caused the black-footed ferret population to deplete over the, over the years, citing issues like construction, wiping out natural prairie dog colonies, which then gets rid of the ferret's ability to naturally survive off of the land. Well, to fix that, now they have cloned an endangered species here to the United States, and that clone lives here in northern Colorado. You know, it takes some extraordinary efforts to try to put Humpty Dumpty together again once you let him fall off the wall and get cracked. Which is why researchers were ecstatic to see decades of work successfully produce Elizabeth Ann, the first cloned black-footed ferret. And that kit was born on December the 10th. Pete Gober oversees the Fish and Wildlife Service's efforts to restore the endangered ferret species. Because the current population all came from the same seven ancestors. We're concerned about the limited genetic variability within this species. So Gober's team pulled a DNA from a biobank at the San Diego Zoo. Elizabeth Ann is an identical twin to Willa, a ferret who died 30 years ago. Getting an eighth animal through a cloning effort could be a big accomplishment. It's hoped that Elizabeth Ann will give researchers a new set of DNA to breed in the wild. They only live one to three years. But in captivity at the National Black-Footed Ferret Conservation Center in Fort Collins, Elizabeth Ann could live and breed for upwards of eight years. One day, when her offspring are released into the wild where prairie dogs are available to be hunted, the species' likelihood of survival grows tenfold. Gober hopes this monumental moment will help Americans restore a native species which was on the brink of extinction. Cloning techniques like this allows you to freeze time to a certain extent. Now, so far, Elizabeth Ann is healthy and active. The ferrets usually breed within about a year of their birth, but Elizabeth Ann's family members, her uh, offspring, likely won't be released out into the public until about 10 years from now. It's hoped that her DNA will help researchers also battle things like diseases that often make their way into these populations. Reporting live in Larimer County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.